What did you come here this weekend to do? Obviously, there is a tennis tournament. This is Justin. When he's not busy being an MIT student or playing in their video game orchestra, he's got a second life as Fractal, the reigning Tetris world champion. Fractal, runner up last year, champion this year, what a story. He won his first world title in 2023 at the Classic Tetris World Championships, the biggest live Tetris tournament in the world. And going into the 2024 Tetris season, he started out with a streak of complete dominance, winning the Masters event, the biggest online tournament in the world, an incredible three months in a row. The first time this had been done by any individual player since 2019. But now he's returning to live tournament play after he flew out to San Jose, California to compete in the first Tetris Regional Championship hosted in partnership with a Smash Bros event. The fun thing is that there's actually just so much because Genesis just happens to be such a large event. I've been following Smash Bros for a year and this is the biggest tournaments for both versions of the game that are still actively played. On the Tetris side, I did think that I had a pretty good chance of winning with my recent tournament results and my consistency. But there was at least one other player in attendance who would pose a huge challenge. Blue Scooty, who two months prior had made headlines for becoming the first player to beat Classic Tetris by playing so far the game crashed. It has been a long time since we last played. It was last in the Mega Masters of 2023 and he's improved like really considerably since then, so I really didn't know what to expect. After Fractal and Scooty had settled down in the Tetris area and warmed up, they decided to have some fun by playing a special challenge in the Tetris community called Mind Meld, where one person controls the side-to-side -side piece movements and the other person controls the flips. I wanna set up dirty! Oh, bro. Bro. Please set up dirty! <laughs> While they'd had a brief moment to enjoy playing as a team, they would soon have to face off against each other in the main tournament, where the winner got the largest share of the prize pool and free entry into the 2024 World Championships. The qualifiers for this tournament were based on getting 1 million points, known as a max out, as many times as possible over the course of an hour. Fractal had gotten the number one seed with eight max outs and a high tiebreaker score, but Blue Scooty had gotten the fourth seed, meaning they were on a collision course in the bracket to likely have to face off in the semi semi-finals before either had a chance to make it to the finals. The silver lining was that they both qualified high enough to get a first round bye and were able to relax and enjoy the early matchups. I was commentating over much of it. It was really fun. They were just all like, really excited to be here. I talked to some of them after the final match. It sounded like they all had a great time. The really interesting player is this new guy uh, who went by James, who started rolling I think just in October. Already has two max outs, got really close to a third during his qualifier. That's really fast improvement from my perspective. And this technique was Looks really good. I'm here with a brand new face in the classic Tetris scene. What is your username? How can people find you on like Twitch and Discord? Uh, so on Twitch, my uh, my username is uh, Tetris Player 69. Very original. Okay. How'd you come up with it? Uh, okay, so. I wonder. When it came time for Fractal to play his first match in the top eight versus Katie, he ended up going for something historic. So this was a best of three set, and in a pro match, you typically start on level 18 and are going for as many four line clears, AKA Tetrises as possible, because they're worth far more points than smaller clears. And at the end, the player with the highest score wins. For top players, everything before level 29 is slow enough to be pretty easy. So the strategy in this phase is to try and go for only Tetrises. But because because the pieces are random, it's virtually impossible to play perfectly. Fractal puts it like this. When you realize that like you've been playing really, really efficiently for a while, it's almost unsettling in a sense because you just start counting the lines until the bad situation occurs, until the misdrop happens. It's just in this game, it ended up not happening and it, I was able to take it way further than I could have ever really imagined. For context here, a perfect score of all Tetrises until level 29 is just a smidge over 1.5 million. Over the past year in the Masters of Event, the tournament Fractal won three times in a row that only features the very best players in the world, 72% of games scored more than 1 million points before level 29. 35% scored more than 1.1 million, 8% scored more than 1.2, 0.7% scored more than 1.3, and no one had scored 1.4 million. Not in the Masters event or any Classic Tetris tournament ever. The level 19 transition was kind of the halfway checkpoint to level 29, and the commentators noticed that he was was halfway to 1.4 million. Oh my goodness, 716 transition for Fractal. 
chat going nuts, popping off over that 716, and Fractal's still keeping that monster pace going. There's this meme in the community where anybody who gets a 700k transition is kind of doomed to misdrop immediately afterwards. I'm really glad that that didn't happen with this game. Fractal just kept going and going, reaching a million points in one of the earliest times ever. We are watching almost history here, Anna D. Chat saying Fractal's on pace for level 24 max yes. out. And there's a max out at level 23. 23 max out. Katie's only behind by 400,000, but I have faith she can come back. Incredibly, Fractal had gotten all the way to a mid 1.3 million by level 28, which was still enough time to get the 1.4. Fractal saying I never have to burn. Never burn. No. Come on. Come on. Oh my goodness, but what a performance. Wow. Amazing game from Fractal. It was only worth one heart though. Wasn't able to get the last two Tetrises, but if I did, that would be 1.4 in the kill screen, which is an amazing milestone. The kill screen was the colloquial term for playing past level 29, which was fast enough that even top players now had to balance just pure survival along with the Tetrises. And although Fractal had comfortably swept the first round match with Katie, he was surely going to need good kill screen play versus Scooty, who actually had the world record for the competition format with a level 39 cap at over 2 million points. Oh my god! Here we go in three, two, one, Tetris! The semifinals matches were now best of five, and Scooty put on the pressure hard in game one, immediately slamming down Tetrises on the kill screen while Fractal was transitioning into level 29 with a messy board. Fractal is in trouble, he needs help and he needs it now! He needs to find ways to burn out, and those eggs are gonna top him out! Scooty, Scooty with the 1.2 takes game number one! In game two though, the situation was reversed, as Fractal was comfortably set up to throw down Tetrises into level 29 while Scooty had a messy board. He needs to throw something over to the left, goes for a flat placement, still trying to get the well open, SP says to make it all the way over, and Fractal! Ties up the set, one to one. In game three, both players were in top form, throwing down Tetris's deep past level 29, and Scooty had a lead, but would go all in on a center well Tetris and encounter a line piece drought. Scooty needs the long part. Is not There's no long part. There it is, and he oh, can't slide it over. D52, Fractal needs. Fractal would run into the same situation as Scooty, going all in on a Tetris with a messy board. Well, needs can to be open. Left, oh no, he, thinks he needs to get something over to the left. That's gonna be a double. Oh now, long bar makes it, D42. D Seven, and that's gonna be good enough! Wow! Your current world champion is one game away from making it to the finals. In game four, Scooty would again run into a difficult situation at the level 29 transition. Oh, the left side. Oh, oh my oh gosh, God, he gets the wow. eyepiece over. There's still a chance of survival, but he has to be keen here. Oh and no, he can't do it. it! So we got a finals. I think Fractal will need a couple minutes to compose himself, but it's gonna be for the Genesis Regional Championship. As he walked off stage, Fractal stared down the broadcast camera. He was just one match away from taking home the Genesis Championship, but there was one final player standing in his way, who had made a name for himself with unique celebrations on stream. What have I done? No, 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 I trashed my own room. No, no. What's good, CTWC chat? It's me, Alex T. I'm the, the top contender to win the whole Genesis tournament. Fractal's no longer be the, the, gonna be the world champion. I'm gonna be the next world champion. Fractal, you should be afraid of, uh, be afraid of me. Alex T is honestly like really scary. I, th I think of him as the impossible child. I think everybody basically does. Alex T had been living up to his reputation and been doing wild things all throughout the weekend. One of the practice stations had a misaligned cart that caused a glitch where the play field was invisible and Alex was still able to play on it. One attendee had brought an Apple Vision Pro to the event and Alex had tried out playing Tetris with it on to see if the latency was really as quick as advertised. The Tetris flashing is uh, like in the Vision Pro. It feels computery. I saw like the, the, the where there was like menus like around me, but like I didn't feel any delay. I was able to get pieces over. I didn't have a problem with it. We were not sponsored by Apple for this segment, but hey, Apple, you heard him. If you're interested, by all means, reach out to him. Alex T's biggest fireworks of the day, though, had been during competition. In the semifinals, he played against Miles the Great, who was a top player himself, and the deciding game of the match came all the way down to a final line on the kill screen. He needs to squeeze out a couple more lines. C24. There's a chance! Get it. Oh my gosh! Oh, 27! Oh, Two more lives! Oh, One more oh. life! There it is! Oh! What a clutch! All the way 
at the top of the board, Alex C advances to your finals! Like there are just so many things that he does with impossible digs that it really feels like only he is able to pull off. And it's it's really intimidating just having to go against that. It felt hard to predict. Like I could win, he could win. I was hoping that I would be able to like show my recent kill screen skill and keep up with him. In the first game, Fractal would get a gift as Alex T got into a tough dig and topped out early on level 20. Come on, Alex. Can he get out of this? He's gonna go for some flat placements oh, and the hang no! on the right. Alex stops it at 564. Fractal is good for game number one. In game two though, Fractal and Alex would be in a near dead heat going into level 29 with both knowing they needed to push the aggression hard. B49 to now B52. B52. It's gonna come down to 29 plate. That's what's gonna be the make or break this game. They kept throwing down more and more Tetrises, and the score remains nearly tied. Fractal's Six still in the lead, dozen. but hold on. One thousand point difference! Alex T knocks down another Tetris, E53. But Alex T was about to live up to the nickname of Impossible Child. He went for a daredevil center well Tetris. Is he gonna set up? No way. Alex T is setting up for up to center. Dirty center well, knocks he it down. It. That could be the dagger. There's still a chance Fractal try to survive. Able to slide pieces left and right, but it's not gonna be the no! Ladies and gentlemen, Alex C ties up the match. One to one. In a pivotal game three on level 34, Fractal had a near deadly misdrop, missing a line piece to the right for a Tetris, but just managed to get the next one over. Alex T was trying to reopen his Tetris well, but miss flipped a Z piece. Now Alex in trouble, he needs it. Oh, he that misdrop. Alex stops at a D92, Fractal, he's D93. He's set up for the column eight, there it is. D93, D93, that's good enough. Fractal is now on match point. Just needing one game to clutch out the win, Fractal played as rock solid as he had all day, building up a 100,000 point lead. With all the pressure on Alex, he missed getting a line piece to the left. These players cannot play forever. Alex, he hangs a piece to the left. Can he get it? Oh, and a couple of missed drops. Could this be it? Could this be wraps? He needs to open up the well. Well is open, and he oh! can't get it over. Oh, and Fractal is your Genesis Regional Champion. What a show, Sharky. Absolutely phenomenal play, but you also gotta give it up for Alex T. Oh yeah. Fractal's verdict after the tournament was that partnering Tetris and Smash together had been a big success. I think from just a spectator's perspective being there, this might be my favorite tournament experience. The Smash has honestly been like really incredible. Just looking behind the scenes, seeing everything that goes into this event with like thousands and thousands of people. Kind of overwhelming, but also like kind of awesome. But as it turns out, the spectacle wasn't even the best part. The players had also spent a ton of time just hanging out together and had been able to go in the evening to try out a new virtual Tetris experience in a mall in the area. At this point, we've done this so often, it kind of feels like I'm just seeing friends that I haven't seen in a really long time. And we get to spend this like great weekend together doing something that like we enjoy that like most of the other people that we know probably don't understand to this level. And Fractal also wanted to use the opportunity as the reigning champion to help the scene grow. I think the big challenge, like we want to present ourselves as approachable. We want people to stop by and see what's going on and get interested. Throughout the weekend, that meant talking to people whenever he was recognized, which was frequently and sharing all his Tetris tips and tricks with everyone from the Tetris World Championships president Vince Clemente, all the way to the youngest fans who were brand new to the game. He even got to connect with a fellow retro gaming champion, Swamp, who had actually won the Dr. Mario Championship the year prior. What was it like meeting Swamp? Oh yeah, Swamp, I love Swamp. Really, really friendly guy. I talked to him a bit about Dr. Mario. He cleared up several misconceptions, and now I think I'm slightly more likely to try it out eventually. So what live tournament is Fractal going to next? I think it might have to be CGWC. Back in California, Pasadena, that's all the way in June. My plan is to compete in every uh, online monthly tournaments until then because people are going to get better and I need to stay along with them. And well, if you follow the Tetris scene, you probably know what happens next. The following month, Alex T broke the overall score world record in spectacular fashion, and he went on an absolute tear on competition, winning the next two monthly Masters events. Going into the 2024 World Championships, Alex T is definitely the favorite to win, but for Fractal actually might not mind that. In a podcast episode talking about his 2023 run where he ultimately won, but was not considered a favorite at the time either, he said, I like being the underdog.
So the Tetris World Championships start tomorrow. If you want more info or would like to watch, I'll link a fantastic article from Tetris Interest in the description that gives you all the information you need. And thanks so much to the patrons this year for making all the videos leading up to this year's championship possible, including channel sponsors Scott Gray and Gilbert Tang. Gilbert is actually a professional photographer and wanted me to let you guys know that he'll be at the World Championships this year. And if you see him, to feel free to say hi and he'll take some nice photos of you. See you all in the next video.